So a lot of people are wondering, since these trees have a lot of issues, why did we plant them in the first place? Ficus trees are widely planted throughout San Francisco, and with good reason. They're really workhorses when it comes to urban forestry. But we have begun to see that our ficus trees are getting too big and too dangerous in San Francisco, and we're having a lot of tree failures with this species in particular. So this is a perfect example of some of the challenges with the structure that ficus trees have. If you look at this tree, you see that we have four very large stems that are all coming from the same main trunk. If you look here, you see that these two branches are attached to one another at a really sharp angle. And in between, you can't fit a lot of strong wood because they're attached so sharply together. That is inherently a much weaker union of a branch than if you had a wide angle of attachment. This is what it looks like right after a ficus limb failed. But you can see the size of it just based on what's left here. And it's, it's a large limb failure. In some cases, we're seeing decline in the canopy of ficus trees. You can see these patches where there aren't any leaves at all. And that's a sign that the tree itself is in decline. And the other big challenge we have with them is the root system of ficus tend to be pretty aggressive and they can also impact nearby utilities. And we can fix the sidewalk around ficus in many cases, but we don't want to cut the roots of the ficus too severely because we can destabilize the tree. One of the other challenges with maintaining trees like this in a city like San Francisco is our sidewalks are not that wide. So we've had to clear the branches away from the properties, but what that means is most of the canopy is all on the street side of the trees. And that's gonna be a lot of heavy weight on the ends of those branches out over the street. And that can be another factor in um, tree limb failures. So a lot of people are wondering, since these trees have a lot of issues, why did we plant them in the first place? And I think it is important to recognize that they provided the city with benefits for decades. They are big and uh, they provide a lot of storage for carbon, which is important in the fight against climate change. And they provide a lot of shade and really, I think, I think many people think that they're a beautiful asset. You know, when we identify trees like this for removal and people protest our decision, we really understand where they're coming from. I got into this job because I love trees. And it just breaks my heart to have to cut down trees, particularly if they're healthy. And the issue is that there's a structural flaw. But I've also seen, unfortunately, firsthand what happens when we have failures. We've we have had a couple of injuries due to street tree failures, and that's something that we just can't live with either. So it's a really challenging situation. We hate to lose mature trees, but public safety has to always come first.